plaintiff, David Pioro, owns a rental unit across the street from the defendant's mother. And when it became vacant, the defendant's mother asked David to rent it to her daughter. David agreed. But after the first few months, the defendant started falling behind on her bills. So he's suing for the unpaid rent and late fees. Defendant Maya Bates and her mother, Delois, say Maya is 23. And she felt like it was time to move out of Delois's home and live on her own. Maya claimed she knew she may have problems paying rent. So that's why she had Delois co-sign on the apartment. But she insists she gave David any money she had as soon as she got paid. Start with you. I'm suing my tenant for $2,600, which would be late fees and rent. Tell me when they moved in and the amount they were to pay. It's not they, it's Maya, the daughter. Okay. And her mother, Delois, who lives across the street from my apartment in Racine, it became vacant. And I've known Delois for lots and lots of years, years. She's, uh, She's the kind of person who picks her flowers, hoes her garden, and cuts her grass as well as anybody else. She seen my apartment was vacant. She asked me if uh, I'd rent it to her daughter. And I think that was a good idea. Daughter rent, filled out the application, and it wasn't quite what I wanted. So what happened is we asked Delois if she would co-sign for her daughter. And she was pretty sure about it. And I thought, great. Your daughter wanted to move out of her mother's house. And, and her mother wanted to keep an eye on her daughter. And, and, her, and the mother could keep an eye on my apartment. So it would work out real well. So her daughter How moved in How much was it per year. month again? I'm sorry? How much was the rent per month? Maybe. The, Your Honor, it was five fifty a month. OK. And a late fee of $25. All right. I have a copy of. Let's see it. And how was it? How was she as a tenant? How did things she, go? She was not a party person. She was a hard worker. I have a copy of the lease if you want to see yes, it. Yes, please. She was a hard worker. She seemed to have two jobs most of the time. She moved in the first of the uh, December last year mm -hmm. with a year's lease. Mother co-signed. She paid the rent very well the first few months. Then I think it was March. She started falling behind with payments here and there. And that's when I started charging her late fees because the whole thing wasn't paid by the sixth of the month. I gave her a five-day grace period. Mm -hmm. So she fell behind accumulating the $2,400 rent and $200 late fee. Um, Let me allow her to give some background now, young lady. Um, I'm 23, and I was living with my mom, and it was time for me to move out. It was time for me to become responsible and get responsibilities on my own. I um, got a job um, as a substitute assistant and it's at a school. So when I when school was out, I was out of work. So spring break was in March and that's when I fell behind and I just couldn't catch up. So I would give um, David uh, like as much as I could every um, two weeks. Every time I got paid, he came over and I gave him uh, money. Right, but so you it admit just to hard. owing yeah. and not being able to pay. Yeah. Um, you said the reason you moved out from your mother's because it was time to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that, that didn't work out. No. Um, right. I, no. It didn't. It didn't. Did you project I, your income? Because it sounds like you were saying or suggesting that because I was in the teaching industry or education, I don't get paid when such and such. Well, didn't you know that that was the industry you were in when you moved in? Yeah. Was um, it different then? Um, that's why I got a co-signer because I was I had it in my mind. Well, it I'll have some help. At least, um, I didn't know that we were going to be out as much as we'll be out. I knew we would be out for the summer. I knew we would be out for, like, spring break. But it's like, it seemed like every month we were, the kids were out, you know, a day, two days, something. You didn't get so a it, schedule at the beginning of the no. year? No, you don't. I, no, Mo, they do give you a list of the days. So okay. it sounds sound like you planned properly. Defendant Maya Bates and her mother, Delois, say Maya rented an apartment from the plaintiff. 
But she's being sued because she failed to pay rent. And you were saying you got a co-signer because you what? You um, thought you would need help? Yeah. That's what? Yeah. Um, I was kind of nervous about it at first, but um, I figured I could take the chance. And, and I'm one who will work. I will work two and three jobs if I can. But at that time, I only had the one job. So. Mm -hmm. So you went in knowing that you weren't going to have enough. Pretty much, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. What did your mother say to you about that? She said she, she wanted you to be responsible. Yeah, she did. We talked about okay. it, but I wasn't responsible. Like I said, it, I wasn't responsible with my money. Like, I would spend it on other things. Oh. I would spend money on other things. Close. Oh, now we get it. <laughs> yeah, clothes, you are sharp. But, yeah, first you were trying... <laughs> Yeah, first you tried to blame it on the kids. Now we're here right now. I'm blaming on the kids, blaming on Gucci. What do you want to <laughs> say, ma'am? You had your hand up. What do right. you want to say? I was just going to say, she did have the money. She mm -hmm. could have paid it if she chose to. But mm -hmm. she, once again, Maya knows how to cook. Maya, the whole time she was in my house, she never made a meal. Maya eats out every single day. Mm -hmm. Every single day. I can't even do that. And so, neither can I. Yeah, mm -hmm. so And fit that's within a budget went. that I have projected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so you haven't learned responsibility yet. And uh, unfortunately, today you're going you have to learn the hard way. What's your defense to not paying him? Um, I honestly, like I said, I just, I wasn't responsible, so. Okay. I, <laughs> All right. Well, today. And, but you I've learned my lesson. Like right now, I'm working two jobs, and it's just like I get it now. Like, Good. make sure I put the important bill money to the side, and then the rest of the money. Good. You know. The more skills you have, and the more education you have, the more money you get. So you never thought about that, so that you don't have to work two jobs. Yeah, I have thought. So about have it. you gone to school? How far did you go? Two years in college. Okay. That was it. Did you stop? You dropped out? Yeah, because I felt like I needed money. More money. So. That doesn't make sense. Because To get more money, you need a better education. Think a little more about that. All right. Um, you can work and go to school. I was right. doing that. I was working two jobs and going to school, but it became to be, like, too much. So instead of quitting one of the jobs, you quit school? Eventually. Okay. Just, uh... You're making some choices that don't seem uh, to be working out for you. You have to have a higher level of education now beyond high school. And so if you don't want to get a four-year degree, you go to a community college and get a two-year degree. Mo many of those jobs are quicker to obtain. Look, and she's looking down, looking at her clothes, peeling her clothes, and I'm trying to tell her about how to lift herself up so that she can pay her rent. She immediately start looking at those clothes she didn't spend all her money on. All right, she alert. Judgment for the plane of 2600 All right. Yeah. But you're sharp, though. <laughs> you're getting sued, but you're sharp. I want to say thank you, Dave, for putting up with what you did. I, I really appreciate that. I really do. Well, <clears throat> Dolores, you guys are good people. I got to say that. That's why we're energy is. You are. And I hope, yeah. there, I hope there's no hard feelings ever. Oh, no. Maya? No. Okay, good. <laughs> no. <laughs>